Okay, this is an important call, MPI reduce. Well, MPI reduce and MPI all reduce are quite important. So, the parameters are send buffer, receive buffer, count, data type, operation to be performed, root and communicator. Okay. So, what does this do? Again, let us say this is rank 0, this is rank 1, this is rank 2. right? So, let us say you have some data over here. In this case, let us just consider integer data. Let us say you have some data 2, 3, 5. You do not need to have 3 elements. You could do this with 1 element. So, let us redo this with 1 element. So, you have data 3, 5 and 7, right. So, these are your send buffs and then you have your receive buffers. And now, what is going to happen? So, it depends on the operation you specify. So this operation can be that I want to sum up these values or I want to find the max of these values or I want to find the min of these values and so on. There is a large set of operations, right? You can and, you can or, you can perform some logical operations and so on. Let us just take the example of sum, right? If the operation specified is sum, then at the end, what are you going to get? Yeah, we are talking about reduce operation. So, reduce operation has a root, right? So, if the root is 0, then you are going to get the value 15 on processor 0. Okay. Processor 1 and 2 are not going to get anything. Okay. Now, there is another call MPI all reduce. So, in case of MPI all reduce, you have again send buff. It is similar to reduce except that there is no root. So, what is going to happen? Now, you are going to have receive buffers on all the ranks right? and at the end of the day, the value, the final sum will be available to all of them. Okay. So, where is MPI already used? We talked about deep learning, right? That you compute gradients on all the processors, right? They compute gradients for their own respective sample images or inputs. And once they compute the gradients, you want to basically take the average of all the gradients. So, how do you take the average? You sum them up and then you divide by the number of samples, right? So, essentially, you cannot directly do averaging inside MPI already used, but you can do a sum, right? So, you do the sum and then everybody just divides, right? Division is not costly. So, that is one typical case where MPI already is used, right? Otherwise, I mean reduce is also used for other reasons. Let us say that you have a set of ranks and each one of them is expecting some data, right? Individually, the processors do not know how many messages they are supposed to receive, but total you know that they are supposed to receive 20 messages. So, now there, the processors are receiving some messages. How do you know that in total you have received 20 messages? So, you can periodically do an MPI reduce and say that, okay, what is the total number of messages I have received, right? And if it is 20, then you basically terminate the program, right? It is used in termination detection applications. Okay. So, there is a call called MPI reduce scatter. So, we talked about reduce, we spoke about all reduce, right? Reduce, the results were available on a single processor. All reduce, the results were available on all the processors. What is reduce scatter? MPI reduce scatter is a combination of MPI reduce and MPI scatter. So, let us understand what it does. So, what are the arguments? Send buff, receive buff, receive count, data type, operation communicator, right? So, now we will talk about more than one element, right? Let us say that we have three elements on all the nodes. So, let us say 3, 4, 5, 2, 3, 5, 1, 1, 1, 
right? This is the data on rank 0, 1 and 2. Now what is going to happen is, so these are the send buffers again, right? And then they are going to have receive buffers. There is only going to be one receive buffer here, one receive buffer here, one receive buffer here. There is going to be element wise addition. So, you are going to add up the first elements of all the ranks, right? So, 3 plus 2 plus 1, right? That is 6. That is going to be available on rank 0, right? The next sum is 4 plus 3 plus 1, which is 8. That is going to be available on rank 1. And the third sum is 11. That is going to be available on rank 2, all right? So, it is basically nothing but you do a reduce. So, by the way, we spoke about uh, reduce, right? So, reduce there is a count. So, when you do a reduce, it need not be of a single element. It can be an entire array. It is going to do element wise operation on that, right? Element wise summation or element wise min, max and so on. What I am showing here is the element wise addition, right? So, this is nothing but a reduce. You reduce this into a single array, right? So, what are the values? So, this is nothing but the reduce and this is nothing but the scatter. This array is being scattered, right? So, reduce scatter is nothing but the combination of reduce and scatter. MPI all to all. So, this is also a very important call. So, let us see an example of what happens over here, right? So, let us say processor 0 has 3 elements, processor 1 has 3 elements, processor 2 has 3 elements. Let me label it like this because it will make some things clearer. I mean, these can be any values, I am just uh, taking this just so that it becomes easier to visualize, right? Now, what is going to happen after an MPI all to all call? So, these are again the send buffers and what are you going to see in the receive buffer? So, what is going to happen on P0 is it is going to collect all the first elements, the 0th elements of the array. So, the 0th elements of the arrays of all the processors are going to come to rank 0. So, what it is going to have is it is going to get 1, 2 and 3. Okay. All the second elements are going to come here and all the third elements are going to come here. Is it clear? So, think of it this way, right? If I just combine this up, it is a matrix, right? If I, if I just look at it together with the rows as being the elements, element numbers and the columns being the processors, if I put it together, this entire thing is a matrix. It is nothing but a transpose of this matrix, right? 